So here's how to set up the system.io double opt-in. It's very easy to do, and if you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link down below where you can either try out system or simply use that for easier login access. First and foremost, make sure you are in your specific sales funnel or landing page where you wanna enable double opt-in. For this one, I have a demo squeeze page, so I'm just gonna go here and click on edit page. From here, very easily, what we want to do is click on like the subscribe button. It might be different, but this is usually going to be the button that once someone enters their email address, they hit go or confirm or next page. So let's click highlight over there and then click on the wheel right here. And as you're going to see, do you want to enable double opt-in on this form? So we can do yes for here. Okay, everything looks pretty good. Alignment, our redirection URL, this is gonna be stuff that you are normally gonna figure out, like if it goes to another page, if it reloads, or whatever it's gonna do. But as long as this is checked off, let's hit save changes, and we can go back. So from there, what we wanna do is hover over our icon or picture, whatever it's going to be, and then simply click on settings. All right, so once you arrive in the settings section, what you wanna do is look for emails, this tab right here, simply click on emails. Once we're here, I just have some emails blurted off. You wanna scroll down ever so slightly until you get to the section where you can actually edit your double opt-in email. Let's do that now. All right, so as you can see right here with the double opt-in, you can click on this, it's gonna say, this adds an additional step to the email subscription process. It requires the user to verify their opt-in via a confirmation email. So of course, make sure that you have your sender email address, your sender name and test email address in case you wanna utilize that. But this is gonna be just for editing the confirmation email. Let's do that right now. Okay, so this is gonna be the subject line, the preview. If you highlight over this, it'll say Re recipients will see this line of text next to the subject line in their inbox without opening the email. So this is usually like a little bit extra. So for example, they're gonna see, you know, important, confirm your subscription. You can change that around and you can do for the preview, like this is where you chose to opt in for, you know, something a little bit shorter, but so that they know, like this is how you get your free gift or your free bonus, something a little bit extra to entice them. So that's gonna be in the preview. You can keep it really simple, like to confirm your subscription and get your free gift. This is going to be the link that they click. Give your sender name, sender email address. There's a few other things down here in case you want to utilize these. And once you are done, simply click on save. And that's going to be the final process. So not only do you need to enable double opt-in on your squeeze page, you want to make sure you at least have your double opt-in confirmation email set up a little bit. We have your name, your email address, subject preview, and this looks pretty good for the body of it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below, but that's the system double opt-in tutorial. Very easy to set up and enable. And from there, someone is gonna actually sign up, make sure they have to go in here, click it, so you know that they're a real person and you're gonna get higher quality leads in general because they're more interested. They've taken that extra step and that's gonna be that. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.